Okay, so your child does not need you to be perfect. They need you instead to be happy. They want you to be happy, not perfect. A problem out there is a lot of moms, a lot of parents, a lot of us are experiencing some really terrible guilt. We're feeling intense guilt. We're feeling a lot of pressure, a lot of stress. We're feeling terrible for any mistakes or yelling we're making. And I'd love for you to put a yes in the chat if that is you, if you're feeling that, that guilt and that pressure. And we want to be able to experience ease and flow and connection with our child, right? But we're so concerned about kind of getting it right that we never, it's, it, it's rare that we're getting into that kind of ease and flow straight state. So why are we experiencing this pain and this problem and this stress and guilt? Um, this too, it's actually, it's both. We're trying too hard and we're trying, we're not trying hard enough. So we're trying too hard in this way. We're trying to take in all the information out there. You probably have a stack of books this high, <laughs> including Raising Good Humans, right? Maybe you do. Um, you, you know, you're trying to take in all the information from here and from a lot of other sources, sources, but there's no clear plan or accountability. So how do we do this? What do we do about this? It's really important to accept our flawed humanity. We're never going to be perfect. Perfect is just never good enough. That mindset of perfect is just really ends up with a terrible weight of feeling I'm never, never good enough. And that's never going to help you grow and learn and, and move outside the, your comfort zone in the way you need to. Um, so we have to, we have to stop trying so hard, right? But we're also not trying hard enough in some areas. Instead, we need to, so we need to practice. We need to take active, clear steps to, to love and accept ourselves exactly as we are and invest in a clear process of gaining skills and tools to improve our parenting, to help regulate our feelings, to help communicate more skillfully with our kids, to help transform <clears throat> our habits from the conditioned, maybe authoritarian habits of our parents and move on to something more evolved and better and, and, and research proven to be better, better right? So you're taking in too much information and not addressing the real changes inside, right? The healing inside, and you probably don't have a clear method or maybe direct personal guidance or community to make that happen. So it's, I, it's funny that as I was thinking about this, I was thinking a clear method, right? That's what we need, but that's what the mindful parenting method is. It's the, the acronym for it is CLEAR. And it stands for the C is calming reactivity, habits that steady the heart, the mind, and the nervous system, understanding our triggers that were left in there from our, our childhood, even beyond, and self-compassion and taking care of our difficult feelings. In other words, not addressing all that inside work that we need to do. So that's that calm step. L is listen reflectively, creating connection. E is expressing yourself honestly and authentically and effectively. It's much more effective than all the other like, just respond this way. And attend, being present. This is really the number one best thing we can do for our kids as proven by research. And then resolve, solving problems based on needs. So that's the mindful parenting clear method. And I encourage you to stop like, freaking out and taking in all the information, trying to, you know, do it all and be it and watch all the things and watch every, every um, summit and all those things. And instead, be more focused, have a clear plan, like, like, don't try to do everything. But and so so stop trying so hard in that way, start to accept and practice to love and accept your you're perfectly in perfectness as you are and yeah, invest in skills and tools and support that will actually move you forward in a clear way. So if you want to learn more, go check out mindfulmamamentor.com slash um, stop yelling. It's a great, I have some great free resources for you there 
and I hope this has been helpful for you. Namaste.